Tonight, there are serious concerns about our city's budget. At Sylvester Turner's first city council meeting as mayor, there was lots of discussion about Houston's finances going from bad to worse. Channel 2's Samantha Patashkin joining us live downtown with some alarming statistics. Samantha. Well, Bill, one of the big concerns tonight is the city's growing pension funding gap. As of right now, at the rate things are going, the city might not have enough money to provide the pensions it owes to both its current and former employees. It's Sylvester Turner's first week in office, and already the news is not great when it comes to the city's finances. The thing I did today was to kind of, you know, sound the alarm and uh, reiterate that the time for action is now. The city now has to report its net pension liability to creditors, and it's a total of five and a half billion dollars. We have uh, pension obligations that we have to continue to maintain, and those are uh, rising at a, a, a rapid rate, much higher. Uh, rate than we are getting in our sales and property tax. The city is also looking at a $126 million shortfall for next year's budget, which means leaders will have to find a way to come up with the funds. Mayor Turner says anything could land on the chopping block. I think it's important for me to ask everyone to be prepared to sacrifice for the greater good of the city. Turner also said the city will be very conservative in filling job vacancies in the future. But he has hope Houston will pull through as it has in the past. I don't want to downplay the challenges. I don't want to downplay that. They are real, and we'll have to deal with them. But I think we can do it in such a way that we don't, um, we don't work against what makes Houston what Houston is. And the city will have to have its budget plan in place by June 30th. That's in time for the start of the fiscal year on July 1st. Reporting live from downtown, Samantha Patashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News.